Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday, coming at you with Jaspie's seven box hoops is back. Basketball mixer. It's a random team break with a Kawhi giveaway, a PSA 10 Kawhi rookie card giveaway. That's pretty nice. So that'll be at the end. So at the very end of the break, we'll re-randomize all 30 names in a different dice roll, just like we're randomizing off break credit or something like that. And the name on top is going to get that Kawhi. So if you get randomized a bad team, or you just have a bad break in general, you can at least cross your fingers for that Kawhi, which is well over the value of the, of the spot. Here are the boxes that are included here. And I guess if there's any points, we'll randomize it to the, to the second name down after the Kawhi as well. Big thanks to all these folks right here for getting to the action. So if you want your team straight up, thank you. If you bought into these cellos, thank you. And congrats to the winners right here. All 30 teams are in. We got the uh, Mavs hosting the Rockets right here. Mavericks are up 93.85 with the uh, beginning of the third quarter. So let's roll it. Randomize both lists. Five and a one. Six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. After six, we've got Allen down to Nick. All right. Five and a one. Six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time. After six, we got the Memphis Grizzlies on top, down to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, no veteran commons will ship in this break, which is pretty typical for breaks like this. But the veterans that will ship, I'll tell you in a second. All right, so Allen with the Grizz, Mike Tower with the T Wolves, Chris with the Pacers, Ray with the Magic, Kings for John, Joe with the Hawks, Jason with the Suns. Uh, Sumin with the Spurs, Chris Erickson with the Heat, Troy with the Celtics, Kevin with the Sixers, Raptors for Asa, Jason with the Thunder, Ryan Redmond, Last Spot Mojo, Denver Nuggets, Jason with the Knicks, Drew Kerr, LeBron James, Vet Commons will still ship, Rocchio with the Pistons, Guy, second year uh, Dallas Mavericks will ship, Tice with the Hornets, Scott with the Clippers, Warriors for John, Bulls for Roger, David, all uh, Giannis uh, base cards, veteran commons, will ship to you. Matthew with the Trailblazers, Corey with the Wizards, Mike Pelicans, nice. Nick with the Rockets, Nets for David, Chris for uh, Chris with the Jazz, and Nick with the Cavs. And remember, Lakers will also get um, any Kobe Bryant veteran commons, if any, and all that stuff right there. All right, so let's sort this by team all right i'm going to pause the video we're going to allow for some trades now trade at your own risk remember all the different years that are in here so trade at your own risk i'm going to pause the video when we come back we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break stick around we'll be right back all right welcome back folks there was a trade look at this let's see how this works out Chris Erickson is out of the Heat spot and into the Lakers spot. And Drew is out of the Lakers spot and into the Heat spot. So there you go. I guess rookies for LeBron, basically. So there you have it. All right. Let's print. Let's rip. Trade window is closed. Got enough supplies for this break? I can get through it, I suppose. All right, and at the very end of the break, we're giving away this Kawhi Leonard rookie card, Gem Mint 10 already. Ooh. So we'll re-randomize re everybody's names at the end. Name on top, we'll get that. All right, so there's the final printout right here on the 31st. Happy Friday, everybody. We've got Ho Hoops is back. We've got a nice mixer going here. Dallas is up 97-96 on the Rockets with 540 left in the third. So we've got a lot going on here. Let's uh, let's get these cello packs out of the way first. So let's do that. I think we, we I think we figured it out, Dave. We talked it out, and I think hoops is back. Is what we decided. Which is what what is grammatically correct. I think if we were selling 
like if we worked at like a sporting goods store and we were selling basketball hoops and we were sold out and then I came back to you and said, Demon, basketball hoops are back. I, those kind of hoops would be R. Hoops are back in stock. A little grammar, folks. A little grammar. What is the uh, what's the Dallas playoff situation here? We got the Mavs up one hundred five ninety six. The Mavs playoff situation looks like they are the seventh seed currently, but they don't have a they don't have a playoff spot locked up. So this, this win, the Rockets do. Rockets, I think, could lose every single game. I don't, they they won't, but they could. I think they'll still have a playoff spot locked in. The Mavs are still fighting for uh, fighting for a spot. Looks like they're a little time out here. I like Dallas. If uh, you know, if Luka Doncic just goes off, and Kristaps Porzingis looks like you know health looks healthy basically, and it gets used to playing with Luka Doncic and all that. Man, the potential for that team. Some role players in there stepping up. The potential for that team could be huge. Grizzlies won today. No, did they did they not win today? Trailblazers won today. Grizzlies need to win today. Wow. Trailblazers also look good. I think I think I think Nurkic, a healthy use of Nurkic is that extra piece that that really allows. I mean, he's just he's in, he's good enough, you know, to uh, to keep some space open for uh, for that backcourt for CJ McCollum for Damian Lillard to do work. And they got his defensive presence as well. Got Zach Collins out there. Right, Skinny Mellow, Kevin Keeter. Right, how could I forget about Skinny Mellow? He had a couple clutch threes down the stretch. So, I mean, he's a good shooter, and he's being integrated into that trailblazer system pretty well. So, four, Trailblazers always look good on paper. You're like, look at that team. How could they not? But they, I feel like once they hit the playoffs... You know, they struggled a bit, but maybe this is this the year for the Trailblazers. It's possible. Yeah, Trey Burke. Dust off your Trey Burke rookie cards, ladies and gentlemen. I think he's already got, what, 19, 20 points tonight? By the way, we'll probably close out with that uh, mosaic hobby box way in the back over there. Uh, there were a couple other threes Eastwood that that he had. I mean, otherwise that ball's going to Dame every time. If they could have another threat like that, a W is all that matters. All right, so this is twenty. This is twenty nineteen, twenty twenty as well. We got the green got game, Anthony Davis. And is that a Genesis? I think so, yeah. With that sort of swirl and the black-blue color in the background. Genesis Anthony Simons. That is a, uh, that's a short print. Very, a super short print. Matthew Shira and the Trailblazers. Nice start. 
And then a silver, Ty Jerome. Silver rookies are always nice. Grant Williams, green. Silver James Harden. Will a well-rested James Harden? That'd be good. Larry Bird for the Celtics. Tyler, are you asking me if I think Elite Pick Your Team through a break tonight? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking absolutely. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I think we're just gonna, I, I told the shipping team just to ship everything in that Chronicles. I think it's just gonna be easier that way. I feel like there's only, like, three Chronicles veteran cards, like a box or something like that, so. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna tell them to ship everything. And MVPs, LeBron. Cavs edition going to Nick Stober. Royce O'Neal. Didn't he have a pretty good game at the restart? Nick Lamelli. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Old school Tim Duncan. Got some, uh, got some lemon pepper wings because of uh, Lou Williams. Steve Nash, Hachimura rookie for Corey. Zion NBA debut, nice. And DeAndre Hunter at the very end. Not sure why they went away with uh, hangers for Chronicles basketball. But yeah, 2019, I mean, you can thank this guy for the and John Moran for uh, the reason why 2019, 2020 stuff are so expensive basketball-wise. Although 1819 prices are still holding strong too because of Trey Young and, uh, and Luka Doncic. But I think even after the sort of inevitable dip in 2019-20 in box, although that, they may not dip, actually. <laughs> Zion keeps it going. All right, so these pink camels are exclusive to these retail cello packs. Yeah, David's saying no chance they did, right? Yeah, I kind of checked myself. I was like, wait a second. They're probably not. I mean, unless unless the worst happens, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to think about that. As long as he's healthy. All right, pink camos. All of these will ship, of course, because they're parallels. go with that so nothing super crazy there let's stay in that cello pack mood right here polishing you heard the market's pretty overpopular those luke and trey young cards psa is giving out less tens to those my thoughts on that yeah i mean that makes sense right you gotta think of think about cards just like any other any other fluid market. 
There's going to be ups, downs, supply and demand. If every card is a 10, then that doesn't make the 10 special anymore. So I think any regulating body has to has to be careful about about how they're grading certain cards, especially as the population of of those cards grows. You know, so it's it's a lot like a lot like the economy, a lot like stock markets, a lot like futures markets. You know, it's something that something that one has to consider all the time when uh, when they're playing this this game. All right, so this is seventeen eighteen. So Celtics, pay attention. There could be a Jason Tatum rookie card in here. Maybe. David West, George Hill Silver, TJ Leaf, Tyler Lydon. All right, nothing much there. What about these red blue cards? Corey Joseph. All right, nothing super exciting in there. Don't worry, Celtics. There's another 1718 box right here, and there's a Prism Mosaic box right there. And another 17-18 box right here. All right, let's go back to sort of a base heavier product right here. Oh, man, did I miss that Frank Vogel silver? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My apologies to the Orlando Magic, Ray Hughes. Oh, God. Frank Vogel, silver, from 1718, Prism Basketball. Ooh, hot right here. Ooh, man, get this graded. PSA 10 on a Frank Vogel Coach Silver Magic. This year's Coach of the Year and future world champ. Ooh, Ray Hughes with the Orlando Magic. You want to see the Frank Vogel Coach Silver? Is that what you wanted to see? Coach Vogel? Yeah, wow. Ooh. Coach Silver? PSA 10, what is that? Like 1,000, 4,000? I heard a, I, I hit a Steve Kerr one the other $10, day. $10,000 or something like that? It looks good. No, we don't like the centering on that? Uh, that look at that. Yeah, I mean, I can, you can even see the centering right here. Left thumb, less than right thumb. Uh, yeah. You can see that right there between that and that. But, all right, all right. Maybe not a 10 on that, but. Whew, man. I mean, graded, I mean, even at a PSA 9, what is that, $20,000? $25,000? You know, I mean. Man. That's this year's Coach of the Year. NBA champion right there too, man. Yeah, don't. That's right, D Mun. Don't sell. Hold. Hold on that. Guess how many PSA tens of that are out there? Zero. Send that in for grading. You'd have the only one. Yeah, Paulo. Probably about twenty five, thirty thousand dollars on that graded that much. Woo. Uh, yes. Yeah, Pop 1, Frank Vogel, silver, PSA 10. I mean, and then once he once he's uh, once he's in the NBA Hall of Fame, after winning like five or six titles with the Lakers, woo! Absolutely, Patrick Goodwin. Those Jason Tatum prizes, I don't think I've even gotten close to their ceiling. Ah, PSA nine maybe. Yeah, the centering is pretty bad, but whatever. PSA PSA nine still go for like thirty thousand dollars. Now the centering's that it's not going to get a ten with that centering, but PSA nine probably thirty five forty thousand dollars easily. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's Tice. That's if you sell it on eBay, you might get thirty-five, forty thousand dollars. You take it to an auction house, 
55, 60 thousand dollars. PSA nine. Frank Vogel, silver. <laughs> Woo, hot. I don't even know what year this is. Oh, this is current year. 2019, 20. All right. Or Mark Price, Hoops Inc. autograph. Right, you don't want the eBay fees. Yeah, you got to send it to an auction house. You know, maybe Leland's. Cavaliers, that goes to Nick Stober. Steph Curry to 299. And we've got Zach Levine. I love these city cards right here. Yeah, Vegas Dave. I've heard him. I've heard him say. <laughs> yeah, Vegas Dave. I'm pretty sure I heard him say he was looking for Frank Vogel silvers for sixty-five thousand dollars. Seventy thousand dollars, I think, was was his video. On the yes, Tice, we're joking. Frank Vogel, co a coach's cards aren't going to go for that. They might be lucky to get five dollars out of it. Although, in all seriousness, though, what about a Greg Popovich silver? If you get a PSA 10, Greg Popovich silver, who's like lock for NBA Hall of Fame, right? Probably one of the most successful NBA coaches of all time. Like, you can probably get, like, you can probably buy up silver Popovich cards for like a dollar a pop. Pun intended. And then you could probably grade, get a, grade it out and get like a PSA 10. You don't think that $1 card goes for $100? Don't like when he's a Hall of Famer? Oh, sorry. Kyle Guy. Uh, John McCall with that guy. All right, there, there's Evan Fournier. You see Darren Fox, 39 points today. De'Aaron Fox had 39 points 39 today? Points. Dust off your De'Aaron Fox rookie cards. There, That's not a rookie card, but there he is. And there's Zion Williamson, our first sighting of Zion here for the Pelicans. Mike G got randomized to Zion. Good luck. Yeah, that Vogel is from 1718. I don't think they, they stopped doing coaches' cards after that. I don't think anybody wanted those in there. I think what kind of killed me was with the coaches' card was that when it says, you know, 10 prisms in a box, those coach card silvers would be considered a prism. It wasn't like it was a bonus. You know, it was just like that takes the place of one of your player prisms. Brandon Clark, what's he, what's he going to do? Is he going to raise his stock? John Morant, rookie. Nice. Allen with the Grizz. Sorry, Paolo. No, no coaches cards in 2019-20. Gordon Hayward. Um, check out DeAndre Ayton rookies too. Check him out. Former number one overall pick, right? He's getting starting to look really good before the restart and then since the restart. I think he's really getting it. Ben Simmons. There's Giannis to 2019. And we've got Shaq, Legends of the Ball. No, Ray, we were obviously joking. Coach's cards are not worth anything. There's Jaron Jackson Jr. to 199. I think D. Munn was joking that, like, I... I I passed by a silver, a silver coach card. And he's like, oh, you passed by that, go back to it. No, nobody, nobody wants coaches cards, I'm afraid. No one's watching basketball because of the coaches. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, uh, what should we do next? Should we start getting to some 17, 18 content here? Do this fast break first. Uh, sup, EJ. See, my, my only plays are baseball plays. Today, I'm not doing I'm not doing basketball plays, by the way. Yeah, let's do that fast break. But I've got I'm on the Red Sox today, and I don't think they pulled it off, did they? No, they did not. So, no win there. I had the Royals today. Royals did not win, so nothing there. And um, who else did I have? I had the Twins today, and the Twins did win. So one for three on the day. Yeah, we're going to go Fast Break, Contenders, Mosaic, Blaster, and we're going to close out with Mosaic Hobby, something like that. I think that's the natural progression. Right, 17, 18 stuff, then 18, 19 stuff, then the Mosaic 19, 20 stuff. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we're back into 1718. So again, Troy with the Celtics. Let's uh, let's pay attention here. Who knows? It could be some Tatum's. Tatum values are definitely uh, have been rising. Go back to. It's been a year or go back to this time last year you know when it was just summer league stuff and we're just leading into the basketball season you know Jason Tatum wasn't selling that great I think he, was he a little disappointing in that previous year's playoffs maybe he was maybe his I don't know that was that weird no Kyrie year uh, it was it was just weird it got weird but then this year this season, he was great. He was playing some great basketball. And every month, it seemed like his cards were jumping up one price level to another price tier level to the next level to the next level. You know? So there was a steady increase over the over the years. And then uh, by the time the pandemic really shut down the season, his stuff was selling pretty well. Not like, you know, not like Zion or John Morant craziness, but, but yeah, so, and I think there still probably is, there he is, Jason Tatum, rated rookie base. Still some room to grow for this guy too. All right, Marquise Chris. That's to 85. And we'll have all those sleeved and top loaded before they go out, of course. We got Ike Anibogu. We got Caleb Swanigan rated rookie. Lon even Lonzo could see a little boost. He does well with Zion. Danilo Gallinari. To 155. Ivan Rab. Markel, Mar Markel Fultz could be a great buy low candidate. You could probably buy really low on Markel Fultz. That goes to the Sixers. Kevin. There you go. Thanks, Mike Tower. He's got some extra info for us. Yeah. You're talking about Tatum, right? Tatum, PSA 10, Silver Prisms were $300 to start the season. And about twenty five hundred to three thousand now. It's a nice jump. And we've got Ryan Arcidia Kono. Fast break signatures for the Bulls, Eastwood with Chicago. This is my kind of town, Chicago is. Terrence Ross to 193. Teodosic. 
Ferreira, Jared Allen rated rookie. I like his game too. Justin Jackson. Here's LeBron James Cavs edition. John Collins. DJ Wilson rated rookie. Dwayne Bacon and DeMar DeRozan. Nick Stober with the Cavs. All right. 17 18 contenders hoops. I think in basketball it's two autographs per box on I think football has like five maybe. This is a 17 18 contenders basketball, Ryan, here in our seven box hoops is back basketball mixer. And uh, we have Chronicles coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. If you're waiting on that, Chronicles pick your team three. Uh, the pack break to give away the rest of the teams and the break itself will be uh, will be after that. In fact, I may actually have have Sean knock those out, and he'll take you he'll take you to uh, through many more hours of raking tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So keep getting your spots on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yeah, we're not going to do that, bud. All right. Tony Bradley. There you go. Rookie season ticket premium edition right here. I know it's expired, but Panini might might hook you up with something. Sometimes they'll give you points. Sometimes they'll give you the Tony Bradley. Do you want the Tony Bradley? Jazz? Is he still on the Jazz? Yeah, still he's still with the Jazz. Utah with that one. Ray, I'm sorry. I thought I thought it was pretty obvious with the with the coaches cards, man. Uh, that'll go to Chris F. Sorry, I didn't I didn't think anyone would take that seriously. All right, there's out of ten Dario Saric. Anthony Davis. Dennis Schroeder. Dwayne Wade. Ah, why, why did they turn these around? Making me think like it's an autograph. Rookie of the Year contenders, Ben Simmons. And is that our first autograph? Yes. Malik Monk, on-card rookie ticket autograph. Going to Ty Sarcedo with the Charlotte Murder Hornets. Giannis for the Bucks. We got Robin Lopez. Are you numbered? Yeah, there it is. I couldn't see it for a second. Two out of two forty-nine. We got Rajon Rondo playing the numbers game. How many teams has Rajon Rondo played for? I don't remember Bulls edition of Rajon Rondo. He's out with a with a finger injury. I think he's should be back for some point of the playoffs. I think. You can see playoff Rondo do his thing. And that's our second autograph? No, it's not. 
Do we have? Oh, right, the redemption. All right, we got prison mosaic right here. All right, so back when they called it prison mosaic. Not just much just mosaic like they do now. All right, so next one. Donovan Mitchell rookie. Nice. Brandon Ingram to 99. Kevin Durant. Nice Donovan Mitchell for Chris and the Jazz. Brogdon, Rudy Gobert to 99, Kyle Lowry, Josh Hart rookie, Pal Gasol, all of these will ship of course. Josh Hart, Dan Smith Jr. He was hobby hot for a second, Dan Smith Jr. He still could be, I guess. All right, next up, 1819 Prison Basketball Blaster Edition. So back to uh, Trey Young and Luka Doncic hunting in this one. No, he was banned. Sam banned. Ain't no one got time for that. All right. Good luck. How much do you think Dwayne Wade would average if you were still in the league? I don't know. How many minutes would he get in the league? Maybe 20 minutes a game? Wait, what team is he? Is he still on the Heat? 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes a game? Maybe more. He can still shoot threes, right? There's Josh Okogie. So it should be a relic here. Sensational swatches. Yeah, I don't know. Sam says 11 points a game. Demon 18 points a game? That seems a little ambitious. Maybe it's right in the middle. Yeah, 14, 15 points a game like Paolo's saying. Right, Seth Curry, Purple Wave. Kyrie Silver. It's not rookie, Jason. This is 1819. All right, so nothing too crazy in here. All right, well, last chance for the Pelicans. That would be Mike G and the Grizz, Allen, with Memphis. Mosaic Basketball Hobby Edition. So we got one autograph in here and some of this nice hobby stuff. Good luck. Yep, the big box, that's right. Let's see what we got. Now th this year, this particular is not headache inducing. They, they made it a lot cleaner for 1920. <laughs> yeah, this the 2017-18 Prism Mosaic product yeah, it could get a little uh, could get a little rough sometimes visually. It looks great in person, but just under these studio lights that we have here and on the camera, it can get a little weird. All 
All right, good luck, boys and girls. Last box. Now, if you're thinking, if you're sitting there going, Joe, this break has been awful for me. What a crappy break. I wish I never joined this break. You know, this sucks. I never hit, blah, 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 blah. If you're, all those things are running through your head, remember, everybody still has a shot at this. Fingers crossed. Right here, everyone still has a shot at that. If you had a great break, guess what? That could be a really nice cherry on top, too. There's Goga, Silver, and Kendrick Nunn to 99. Here's a player that I think could raise his stock during the playoffs. That goes to the Heat. That'll be for Drew Kerr. Who knows? Silver, silver rookie. Watch, he marinates in a couple years. Turns into a... You never know. Overdrive Steph Curry. I feel like those are somewhat, somewhat shorter prints that are doing better. Secondary market. Dylan Windler, Mosaic Rookie. There's Goga again, which is not numbered. I guess those reds aren't numbered. Dikembe Mutombo, Giannis. Lori Markin in silver, Paul Millsap, Doncic insert, that'll ship. Carl Anthony Towns. In it to win it, LeBron James. Lakers edition going to Chris Erickson. Uh, that's a good question, Ryan. I do not know, to be honest with you. Does anyone else know offhand what a mosaic hobby box runs for these days? Maybe we have one on jaspies.com, the personal box site. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty now. What is? What do you think it started at? Um, probably like six. Six like something. Yeah. Actually, no. This came out. You're talking about mosaic. Right? Hobby hobby box I edition. Probably still like eight hundred. Eight hundred, and then it's up to around eleven something. Because you got to think, it came out when everything was already high, right? Yes. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Awesome stuff, though. But you, no, I love this stuff. Overdrive, in it to win it. Yeah, I've been pulling those parallels. Those are really good. I think those are both like super short prints. Or short prints. Ooh, and a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Center stage, Kyrie. Marcus Smart Silver. Giannis, says D Mun. That would make D Mun very happy. D Mun, of course, has the Bucks. Blue Chips, John Morant. Dwight Howard guesses Ryan. Admiral Schofield guesses Kevin L. That might be the right one right there. Cam Reddish? That'd be, that would make Joe Cook very happy. There's Blue Chips, John Morant for Allen. Yeah, Cam, Cam Reddish has a lot of upside too, hobby-wise. A couple good games from him next year for a high pick like him. Charles Barkley is another guess. All right. It's rookie autographs mosaic. So not Dwight, not Charles. Z, J, J, Jackson Hayes probably. A, X. There it is. Jackson Hayes for the Pelicans. That will be for Mike and the Pels. All right, but you got a handful of Zions earlier in this break too, Mike. So I think nothing, not too, not too shabby at all. 
Same with the Grizz. There are some John Morants in there as well. All right, so solid break, everybody. We'll do a quick little auto recap in a second, but let's give away that Kawhi Leonard. That's rookie Kawhi Leonard, Gem Mint 10. And guess what? No points in this either. So there you go. So let's get everybody's names on the same screen. So from Joe down to Corey, let's get everybody's names into a blank list. Fresh dice. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it three times, a two and one for three. Name on top gets it. One, two, and three. Everyone from two down to 30, thank you. I appreciate you trying. I appreciate you getting in. Whether you got in via a sallow pack, whether you bought a spot straight up, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And congrats to Joe Cook. He was so bummed about the Hawks. How did that work out? Joe Cook was so bummed about getting the Hawks. I don't think he was even in the chat anymore. He probably turned it off. But he always has to play to the whistle, folks, because you never know what might happen. And there you have it, Gem Mint 10, Kawhi Leonard, rookie Kawhi Leonard from 2011, Upper Deck SP, Bas SBA Hockey, Hockey, so you sing SBA Hockey, Ho Basketball, when they used to do basketball. There you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is what we got auto-wise. Sean's coming up next. So we got, we got some decent stuff in here among a ton of other parallels, too. And that Genesis at the bottom there as well. Thank you again. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.